Warriors rise January 25th. Holy cow, right around the corner. Is crypto going to completely collapse again? My name is Coach JB. I am the top health, mindset, and crypto coach in the world. Remember what you believe in your heart, you think in your mind will eventually become your words and become your reality. If you can see it in your mind, eventually you can hold it right here in your hands. What you repeatedly do gets ingrained in your subconscious mind. What gets ingrained in your subconscious mind becomes an unconscious activity. Now, here's why I never trip and always buy the dip. I'm going to break down for you what I believe is this happening exactly in the crypto market. This is the greatest time in human history. Now, I want to remind you, Warriors, many of you were saying, is it too late to get into crypto? Is it too late to get into crypto? And the very same people now that crypto is on sale are running for the hills. Here's the thing. The multimillionaires and billionaires, do you know when they buy? When there's blood in the streets. This is the most beautiful time in crypto history. There's blood in the streets and the very same people that kept telling me, is it too late to get into crypto, are running for the hills. This is so unbelievably beautiful. ETH is on sale. Bitcoin's on sale. XRP is on sale. VeChain is on sale. CRO is on sale. XRP is at 56 cents right now. Warriors, this is the greatest time in human history. This is why my warriors don't trip and buy the dip. This is why we don't get flooded out of cryptocurrency because we are fundamental investors. I'm a Warren Buffett style investor in cryptocurrency. What does Warren Buffett do? He buys blood in the streets. These are my favorite charts. Of course, I love when it goes up, but I'm a long-term holder. This is so beautiful. I just see sale, 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 XRP at 56 cents. And many of you are complaining, hey, JV, will I ever be able to get it under a dollar? Well, here you go. Here's a gift, but it's the very same people that are running for the hills. As I told you guys last week, I'm dollar cost averaging back into Algorand. Or I have Algorand, but every single week, buy an Algorand, CRO, VeChain. I just bought some more Ethereum. These are on sale prices. Okay, so let's dive into the date, January 25th. The markets are red right now, and this is the greatest time in human history, Warriors. That's what's beautiful about our Warrior Academy is I teach our Warriors how to stay calm, how to stay fundamental, emotional intelligence, and what the multimillionaires and billionaires are doing. They're not jumping in and out of the markets. When they see red, they don't go running for the hills. They don't trip. They buy the dip. They sit with their teams. They evaluate, and they probably accumulate. Okay, but let's take a look. January 25th is coming up. What is the date today? Let's take a look at the calendar here. Today is a twist tomorrow. Holy cow. Okay, so tomorrow is the FOMC meeting. This is when Jerome Powell is going to make an announcement whether they're going to be raising interest rates. They've said they're going to raise interest rates three times this year. Now, the feds are in a very, 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 very dangerous position. I'm going to repeat that again. A very, 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 very dangerous position. Okay, they have printed money into oblivion. They are tapering now. They're taking us off life support. Number two, they have to raise interest rates. They know if they raise interest rates, it is going to collapse the stock market. Okay, they are in this weird, weird position right now. Okay, so there's companies that are zombie companies. They've slowed down the junk bond purchases. Right, so that's going to take the companies off life support. It's going to take the public off life support. It's also going to affect the job market. And if they raise interest rates, it's going to affect banks. So if you knew that it was going to affect, if you're a bank and you knew that your profit margin was going to be squeezed, because remember, there's three ways banks make money, fee income, capital income, and interest income. The interest income is being squeezed dramatically now because if they raise the interest rates, people will borrow less, okay? Fee income is going down. People aren't walking into banks anymore. Everybody's doing everything decentralized or fintech on their phones, okay? Capital markets income. So if your stock market collapses, nobody has money to invest. Number two, people aren't going into the banks. They're becoming their own banks. And number three, your interest rates are being squeezed. So let me ask you a question. Where would you go if you were a big-time investor? Let me show you what they're doing, Warriors. As you trip and you go running for the hills, investors are buying 
the dip. Okay, so we know the meeting is coming up, and the Fed's seen signaling March rate rise as assets run off soon after. Okay, so we're seeing blood in the streets in the markets. This is the best time to be an investor, Warriors. This is why you got to get out of this bullshit pump and dump. You got to stop listening to these bullshit influencers. Sorry, I'm, I'm so irritated with this shit. There's so many influencers pumping and dumping you. They're all running scared now. You know why we're not running scared at the Warrior Academy? Because we've stayed fundamental. We've never fudded anybody into any cryptocurrencies. We never fudded anybody out of any cryptocurrencies. We show our exact portfolio, exactly what I'm doing. It's in the Warrior Academy. Click the description down below to join. We teach you mindset, subconscious mind programming, goal setting, vision board creation, a foundation. We teach how to be a good human being in the greatest time in human history. Okay, so check this out. So the feds are signaling the March rates rise. All markets are struggling right now. Okay, now let's take a look at what this is doing supposedly to the market. So they're scaring the living shit out of the retail investors. So check this out. Got to start, I think, with with. Oh. 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 Got to start, go. I think, with with Apple hitting this three trillion mark, and, and the risk you think out there that those mega cap stocks like Apple do see. A meaningful change in how they're they're valued, the multiples uh, applied to their earnings over the course of the next twelve months. I don't. Well, I don't see it as particularly large for those names. I, I'm more worried about technology names that are trading as multiples of sales, or mul as opposed to a multiple of earnings or a multiple of cash flows. One of the things we found about the Fang stocks is that, generally speaking, they have defensive properties that they they've actually outperformed. Uh, consumer staples in down months, uh, more uh, uh, consumer, they've outperformed the market more than consumer staples in down months, almost as much as utilities in down months. <clears throat> so in many ways, those companies are, are viewed as kind of new cash. And uh, so I'm not particularly worried about the, the valuations. I do think, you know, it, there is a certain risk, I think, for people that are passively invested um, that think they're getting more diversification by buying an index and, and they're getting and play by the S&P 500, 7% of that is, is Apple. So that's, I would say that's the yin and the yang of it. There's, there's good news, which is that these companies are quasi monopolies um, that are very stable and throw off tons of cash. The bad news is that you are putting a lot of eggs in one basket. Uh, in terms of uh, the, the, the risks out there, where do you stand on likely number of rate hikes and, and whether uh, things will have to expectations have to come forward so significantly that it, it okay this is what I want you guys to pay attention to. I apologize with the little jacked up video in the beginning there but this is what I want you guys to pay attention to becomes a shock to, to market participants well, well to me that is, that is the, the single biggest risk for me at least this year and that's because I think the Fed is meaningfully behind the curve uh, money growth M2 is still growing at 13 percent the Fed is still easy and that is not consistent with inflation running at, at close to seven. Um, and there, it doesn't look like they're going to stop easing until March uh, at the earliest. And so um, that, in my opinion, spells trouble. Uh, it becomes a political decision. This is a midterm election year. Uh, I think inflation will be a meaningful uh, election issue. The Fed may be a, a political issue as well, probably for the first time in maybe 40 years. So that's that's going to be something I think that that potentially weighs on the market later on. Right now we're using two hikes, but I think the risk is that you see more. And I think especially with this this lockdown, if you will, or or short lockdown. Okay, so I want you to think about what he just said. So there's a political play happening right now. So the midterm elections are coming up. Okay, we're going to come up on a new presidency very soon, very soon, quicker than you know it. Two years is going to go by before you know it. Okay, so now. They're going to be responsible for quantitative easing, for interest rates hikes. So they have to balance this words. They're in a really, 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 really dangerous position. And you know what the hero is? CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency. Warriors, crypto is the hero, I promise you. Omicron, in many ways, it could exacerbate some of the supply chain issues we saw last year. Okay, so let's dive into this. My apologies for the funky donkey video there. All right, let's dive into this, okay? So they're fudding you out. Crypto Ice Age is coming. Look at these titles, Warriors. Forget the bi a Bitcoin winner. A crypto Ice Age is coming. Might be coming. The Fed's ease money era. They're freaking you out. This is so beautiful, okay? 
All right, so let's get into the FUD wars. Let's get into the FUD and how crazy this is, okay? So as all this is happening, Tether prints $1 billion. The whale alert hit $1 billion transferred from Tether to Binance, the Treasury Binance. So think about that. Why would they print be printing $1 billion during a dip? Well, here's why, Warriors. Here's why. Okay, I'm going to break this down. I'm going to kind of jump around a little bit. Ethereum Foundation cashed out a large sum of ETH at the peak yet again. Okay, this came out on January 23rd, 2022. The Ethereum Foundation, and I'm going to break this down for you guys, the nonprofit dedicated to supporting Ethereum blockchain and ecosystem allegedly cashed out a huge sum of ETH on the November top. Interesting. The November top, they always do this type of stuff during the holidays, any type with the, you know, any type of manipulation. Well, you're getting ready for Thanksgiving and the holidays. The finding came, the light by the light by Edward Mora, a widely followed cryptocurrency trader and the technical analysis who dug into Ethereum's historical account data. Friendly reminder that ETH Foundation cashed out at the top again, ETH down 40 plus percent since then. So there's been a massive drop. Well, let's go through the chain of events here, okay? I'd highly recommend you go check out John Deaton's website, CryptoLaw.us. He gives you the whole timeline here. I'm not going to go through the whole time timeline, but if you put tag Ethereum Foundation, this is going to break down the whole connection here. And this is why I'm so excited about this. Why do you think Jay Clayton, Bill Hemmen, former SEC directors, left to go into cryptocurrency, heavy into blockchain and Ethereum warriors? This is going nowhere. They're setting you up, warriors. Think about it. Tether is printing money during the biggest dip. Okay. You got Ethereum Foundation cashing out November at the top. Why do you think they're cashing out? They're selling you the cryptocurrency. They're buying the dip right now, warriors. So here's the key players in the game. We've talked about this a million times. Jay Clayton was a longtime partner of the law firm Sullivan and Cromwell where he notably co-engineered Alibaba IPO in the 2014. Alibaba owns Alipay, a Chinese payment service that is designed to directly compete with Western fintech innovation using blockchain. Alipay has moved into cross-border remittances, which ripple primary use case for use use case for XRP. When he is uh, nominated to the SEC chairman in 2017, he's dubbed the most conflicted SEC chairman in history. And the article ran down his bags, potential conflicts in the job. At his nomination hearing, he was reminded and conceded that if in a matter related to a client, his uh, from Sullivan Cromwell came before the SEC, he would be barred from voting. Bill Hinman, okay, another SEC director, was a longtime partner of the firm Simpson, Thatcher, and Bartlett and co-engineered the Alibaba IPO with Jay Clayton. Hinman retired the Simpson Thatcher to join the SEC as Clayton's director of corporate finance. Ethereum was launched by Ethereum Foundation in 2014 as an enterprise blockchain system and its native currency ether was used in an ico to anyone who wants to purchase it okay an early investor of co-founder was joe lubin in parallel lubin founded consensus these are key remember consensus okay for a profit consulting firm to promote a profit from building enterprise blockchain solutions exclusively on the ethereum network lubin received 9.5 percent of ether for reference a 10,000 investment in the ether ico and held to this day is worth 120 million thus you can imagine lubin and anyone else's financial interest in ether consensus is a client of solvent cromwell Clayton. So Consensus and Jay Clayton are connected together. The Ethereum Enterprise Alliance, a coalition of companies built to market Ethereum as an enterprise solution, includes Simpson Thatcher and Bartlett, which is connected to Bill Hinman. This is how Clayton, Hinman, and Lubin were connected at this story began. Please go read through this warriors. Educate yourself. This is why I don't trip and I buy the dip and I teach my warriors to stay fundamentally sound that this is a long-term game. All of them are buying this dip warriors. Okay, so now we know the players in the game. We know that this is all by design. They're manipulating the market. And if we go over here, okay, I just showed you that. My apologies. Okay, so we know the connections. We know that Binance is, or excuse me, Tether is printing a shitload of money during the dip as you're freaking out. The Ethereum Foundation, this is how you keep yourself at a 30,000 foot overview. We know all the players are connected. They cashed out in November. They're buying in like crazy night right now, I would assume. And they're going to continue to manipulate the market. Okay, now listen, MasterCard, UBS, and JP Morgan pour $65 million into Ethereum startup studio consensus. 
Let's go back here. Okay. It's all connected. It's all connected right here. I show you this consensus is a client of Sullivan and Cromwell Clayton. The Enterprise Ethereum Alliance is a coalition of companies to bring market to Ethereum solutions, include Simpson, Thatcher, Hinman. This is how Clayton, Hinman, and Lubin were connected to the story begin. Okay. MasterCard, UBS, and JP Morgan pour $65 million into Ethereum startup consensus. Let's take a look at consensus. Unlock, Web3, build on Ethereum, collaborate worldwide. When people say Ethereum is going to go to zero and it's going to collapse, it just makes me giggle. I'm like, what is, like, do your research. Stop fudding people out of fundamental cryptocurrencies that are going to change the world. Look at these partnerships, warriors. It is so deep. This rabbit hole is so unbelievably deep orders png microsoft amazon web services maker i mean this is deep hitachi look at this warriors this is the greatest time in human history <clears throat> so let's go back to this red screen how does that make you feel emotionally warriors i teach my warriors to smile when they see this type of stuff so we don't trip we buy the dip in our Warrior Academy, down below, click the link. You can fill out a revolutionary exit strategy that we created. It's not financial advice. I say don't trust a word I say. Trust the feeling and vibration it creates within your body and act accordingly. Warriors, I don't trip. I buy the dip. As it goes up, I sell the tops. I sell it goes as it goes up. When everybody's excited and preaching and saying cryptocurrency's back and they're, they're all, it's the best thing since sliced bread, I've already sold. And then when it goes collapsing back down, I've already bought. I'm doing the opposite of 99% of the public. That's what's made me and got me to financial freedom wars. And then outside of that, I've built a fortress. I'm building a fortress. I'm building generational wealth wars. I've given you my exact plan. In the Red Pill Boot Camp, I've showed them exactly what I'm doing. I'm not saying it's right. It's worked for me in the last two and a half years. It's changed my life from being completely broke to financial freedom. I will never be broke again. I understand how money works, warriors. It's just energy. It's just a vibration. And if you're a low vibration person, if this is bringing you into a low vibration, you will never be rich, warriors. Warren Buffett is not sitting there biting his fingers when the market crashes. What he does, he starts licking his fingers. I know that sounds disgusting. He starts licking his fingers and says, yes, let's go. He deploys his team and he starts buying, buying, buying. That's why he's one of the richest men in the world. The richest people in the world do the complete opposite of what you do, Warriors. If they didn't, then we'd all be wealthy. They've trained you to be indoctrinated into a system where you're a vocational worker, where you trip every single time it dips. It's been bred into you since you were a young child, that everything is against you, that nothing is for you. But I'll tell you what, Warriors, this is the greatest time in human history. So what is Coach JV doing right now? I bought more Ethereum this weekend. And now that it's down again, I'm going to buy more VeChain today. And I'm going to buy more CRO. And I'm probably going to buy some more Ethereum today, Warriors. And I hope it dips even more this week. So all of you who are saying, is it too late to get into crypto? And now you're running for the hills? What are your, what are your intentions? What do you want for your family? That's a key factor you should be asking yourself. Are you here to get rich quick? Because you're always going to get wrecked. So I'm here to teach you. I'm here to build the foundation for you. It's your gut. It's your mind. It's your heart warriors. And when you have that heart and mind coherence, you are unstoppable. I appreciate you. I love you. As we always say, warriors, rise. Everything you need is description down below. If you want to get to know and like, trust us first. Join the free Facebook group and Discord. And we'll be here to help you.